am so damn pissed! <laughs> Me after I get a bad haircut. Don't be as a cut. Don't be as a cut. Listen, viewers at home, okay, have you ever gotten a trim? A light trim? But it turns out the trim isn't that light. Have you ever left the barber shop looking like a freak of nature? Uh a less of a human being. A, a weirdo. Because I have recently, okay? Me. Me in the back. Gather around, okay? Get close because this is the haircut experience in 5K. So there I was after a long day of work contemplating on what I would do with the rest of my night, okay? I could go home, jerk off a little bit, maybe fall asleep, or I could do something productive like getting a haircut, you know, improving my overall image. At the time, my hair was looking like quite the mess. It was just getting a little bit too long. It was kind of, uh... Uh, messy. So I was like, why not? Why not? Let, 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 let's just dive into the barbershop, okay? Let's, let's, let's dive in. And this is where it gets scary. Nobody can touch my swag. Nobody so I'm in the shopping center. I'm walking, getting closer and closer to the barbershop. And I already knew something was off, okay? I already could sense who was going to be there cutting my hair. Shaky Hand Scott. Don't be. Who is Shaky Hand Scott? He's a menace, okay? A menace to society. So ever since me, my brother, you know, since we were very young, we got our hair cut at this barber shop, okay? The one I was going to recently. And ever since myself and my brother got our hair cut by a certain individual, <laughs> we called him Shaky Hand Scott. You know why? Because when he cuts your hair, it's like this. So yeah, you know, you go in there asking for something and he just fucks it up because his hand shakes so much. It's just a terrible experience all around. Um... Scott, if you're watching this, fuck you. But there I was, okay, walking into the barber shop. I walk in, I see this guy wearing a military uh, uniform stuff. I just offended so many people, I'm sorry. But you got this guy, you know, getting his hair cut by Shaky Hand Scott. Shaky Hand Scott is the only person in there cutting hair, okay? He's the only one, and at that moment, I knew I was fucked, okay? But I was thinking to myself... You know, it might not be that bad, right? Like, all I need is a light trim. I like the way my hair is. I like it long. It's just, it's getting a little bit too crazy. Scott can't possibly fuck up a light trim, right? 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 Well, no, he fucked it up. So, basically, <laughs> I, I was sitting there just waiting for my impending doom. Just waiting for this uh, military dude to... I keep saying military, it just sounds so fucking weird. But anyways, right, I was waiting for my turn to get my hair cut. The guy goes up, pays, he's done, his hair looks all fucking perfect. And, uh, to be honest, dude, like, Scott did a pretty good job on this guy. I mean, to be fair, it was just a buzz cut, but, you know, it looks pretty, pretty good. So, I was like, you know what, maybe he changed his ways. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I never could have been so wrong. One thing I should have mentioned before I uh, really got too deep in the story was that Scott looked terrible. He looked awful, okay? Um, the last time I saw him was probably six months ago, and he looked just as I remembered. He looked all, you know, uh, middle-aged and, and fine and dandy. This time, he looks like an elderly man, okay? He looks older than my grandfather. He, he might have cancer, okay? No joke. Like, no bullshit. This guy could genuinely have cancer. Um, Scott, if you're watching the video and you have cancer, uh, fuck you. <laughs> okay, I'm joking, Jesus. But seeing this guy, I mean, he looked basically crippled, you know, and just seeing him in that state, I should have known what I was getting myself into. At that point in time, I should have left, okay? I should have just ran away. I should have gone in a full-blown sprint out of that shit. But I decided not to. I decided to stick with it. I decided to look at myself in the mirror and say, you know, everything will be fine. It's just a light trim. What could possibly go wrong? I really love some Fortnite. I re Look at my fucking hair! Look at it! Look! So after the military dude pays and leaves, um, Scott makes direct eye contact with me and says, You ready to go? I, I, he, he, he dead ass sounded like that. And I was like, yeah, sure. So I sit down in the chair, uh, I buckle in. <laughs> <laughs> Not literally, like, I, I just sit down, I look at the little TV, and he starts cutting. Well, I, I I tell him what I want first, okay? How would you like it cut? Yeah, man, uh, just a light trim, you know, more or less keep it the same, but I, I think I'm gonna go with the light trim, okay? Just, just don't take too much off the top, basically keep it the same, just kind of, you know, kind of keep it from going crazy, right? Just more or less just contain the hair. 
control it, you know, keep it down. And he said, I got you, no worries. And he got the fucking razor out, and he's like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sure you guys know how, um, you know, most hair cuttery places work, most barber shops work. Um, as you're getting your hair cut, you can't see what your hair looks like. I mean, it could be different for you guys, but for me, it's always been, I'm looking away from the mirror, so I can't see shit. For all I know, it could be completely uneven, it could be just not how I want it, you know. If I could see how I was getting my hair cut, I could save it. I could be like, hey, you know, that's, uh, I, I don't, don't do that. <laughs> but, um, that's just not how it works, so I was sitting there just, um, basically staring right ahead of me, just praying that my hair wouldn't look so awful that I couldn't be seen in public anymore. After about five or so minutes, he turns me around and he says, does it look good? And, um, uh... <laughs> I'll be real, at the time, I thought it did. At the time, I was like, hey, that's fine, you know? It's not too short. It's fine. It's it's perfectly fine. Just a little FYI, I have curly hair, okay? Very curly hair. And, uh, yeah, so it was kind of, you know, just how it was normally, just a lot shorter. And I thought it was good. I get home, I take a shower. No, it's not good, dude. It's cut way too short on the top and way too long on the sides. Man, Scott, what the fuck, man? Scott, I trusted you. Scott, I trusted you and you ruined it. You ruined our trust. Dude, I was just looking at myself in the mirror like, why? Why? Why would I ever get my hair cut by Scott, okay? I should have called ahead and asked for someone who could have, you know, um... Uh, you know a good grasp as to what I wanted for a haircut, but no I decided to be fucking impatient and deal with shaky hand Scott And you might be wondering like oh, it's just, it's not even that bad You know a little bit too short on the top uh, long on the sides like what's even gonna happen, man? It's it's just, it's 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 fine. It's not fine. Okay once you get a bad haircut Everybody notices okay today at work some woman comes up to me. Oh your hair looks really nice My husband has the same cut shut up and uh, yeah now I'm in a deep paralyzed state because of my terrible haircut. Um, every time I go outside, people make fun of me. Uh, I'm basically Mr. Black Darkness 666. So, now we're going to walk into the street and see how all the people respond to my presence when I walk by. You see? You see what I have to deal with every day? And you know, it really sucks, man. All I wanted was a cool haircut, and now people tell me to kill myself. Dude, it really fucking sucks. I have to uh, resort to eating, uh, you know, squished pieces of gum off the ground. Really sucks, man. Anyways, though, hope you guys enjoyed my rant about my bad haircut. Um, hopefully, it grows evenly. Uh, it's not gonna happen. You know, I might have gotten a bad haircut, but at least it's not as bad as Tom's haircut he had at VidCon. Because, dude, I'm looking at that right now, and, um, you know, I, if if the barber did that to me, I think I would just ask for them to just cut it all off. Just just remove all of it. Just fuck it. Just get the hair out of there. But thankfully, the haircut is not as bad as Tom's, and I can still be seen in public with a big old smile on my face. I'm so happy. Anyways, though, guys, hope you all enjoyed today's video. I'm going to be spending the remainder of the video just talking to you guys about um, pretty much the direction I want to go with this channel and just the channel altogether. I just want to talk about the Dumpy channel, okay? So I want to start this off by saying that I am aware that a large majority of you guys subscribe from Poncho, okay? Poncho promoted my new channel that I made back in June a lot as soon as I made it, okay? He got it to about... I, I want to say, like, 20, 30k subs, which I'm very appreciative of. I don't really agree with what Poncho is doing with this channel now, you know, quitting soon. I think it's a fucking stupid idea. But I do want to give credit where credit's due. You know, he helped me out a lot, and I'm very thankful for that, okay? In recent months, though, I'm sure you guys are aware that my channel's views are pretty dog shit, okay? They are terrible. I'm pretty sure the video I uploaded about two days ago has, like, 800 views. Um, that's ass. That's like super terrible. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and be like Gabby Hanna and complain like, oh my god, my channel is being shadow banned because that's not the case whatsoever. The thing with my channel is that I have been very inconsistent. I think the month of September, I made like five videos the entire month. Like that's fucking like... 
That, and that's so bad. But I just wanted to make this little announcement to say that I am, I'm tired of the stagnation. I'm tired of sitting here getting no growth. Like, I am, I'm ready to grind again. I'm ready to grind. It's been so long since I've uploaded daily. And back when I was uploading daily, I wasn't even uploading daily 10 minute videos, you know? I wasn't really giving you guys, I wasn't going the extra mile with my videos. I wasn't trying to make them longer, more entertaining. And that's what I want to do now. So many times in the past when I've been trying to upload daily, I would just sit there and be like, oh, you know, it's hard because I work you know i just want to get home from work and sleep it's not fair at all i have to work it's so fucking difficult youtube is not that difficult okay it's kind of hard to stay consistent especially with you know other stuff going on but dude at the end of the day is it really that hard to upload every day i, I just don't think so i don't want to sit here and promise you that i'll upload daily or anything but um I, I, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna try my absolute hardest to upload daily and if it doesn't happen if it falls through I apologize I might miss some days in between but I just want to say that I am ready to fucking go hard on YouTube So let me know what content you guys want. I enjoy making the reaction videos. I'll keep doing the stories I'll make rants in between, you know, I'll, I'll make all the content that you guys want me to So just comment down below what you want and you know, I'll try to make it happen You guys seem to enjoy my drama video. I did about the tag swag shit so if you guys want more videos like that, let me know in the future. I hope you guys all have an amazing day or night and peace out.